so guys uh, today i'm back with another video and i just want to make an update on uh, a video that i made a little while ago uh, how to add more than one indicator to a single indicator window uh, on mt5 on pc on mt5 on pc but uh, the same technique is the one that you're going to use on mt4 the same technique so uh, I think this one uh, most people know it just to make it on a mobile phone so quickly I want to make uh, I'm just revisiting that video I'm just want to update it so uh, the first thing let's say uh, we may want we may want to add let's say uh, let me come here to oscillators first of all this is the navigator window we come to indicators we click here and then let's say we add uh, let's add um, we may want a relative uh, strength index RSI you get we click on it let's say these are the parameters that we want so we've added RSI but now let me try to make it a little bit more uh, this by come to properties and then let's say let me let me try so the vol for the levels given that I have a white background let me make uh, the levels the color of the levels black you get and then let me make them uh, solid like this so at least now i've added them so now we want to add let's add uh, a moving average to this indicator window so the thing that we do if you uh, you put like uh, an, an indicator like rsi so i come i come here then i look uh, for a moving average it is under under trend you get under trend then i come here uh, I look for moving average, moving average, uh, they are here. So you first click on it once. You first click on it once. Then it turns blue. What do you do next? You just drag it here to the indicator window where you want it and you and you, le you, you leave the, the cursor. So when you drag it there, it will want you to, let's say, put the modifications or the parameters. So the changes that you want to put to the, uh, let's say, the moving average, you, you make the changes here. And then, for me, what I may want is to change the thickness here. So, I come to, I click yes. I think you can see now we've added a moving average to our RSI. Then, I may need to add, let's say, uh, a MACD, you get? Or let's say, uh, a MACD. Uh -huh. uh, let's say, uh, oh, let me get one, one of these ones here. We may need to add uh, accelerator, let's say get a oscillator let's say mm. we just come and drag it and then we leave we make the changes here and then we say yes so you can see that it has been added you get so that's uh, uh that's how we we can add uh, more than one indicator to a single indicator window then for the main chart if at all if you don't do like this if at all you don't do like this then there are those indicators that i uh, just go straight to the to the main chart so if i just came here let's say to trend and I, I click on, let's say, uh, moving average. I double click on it. And I, I click yes. It will just go to the main chart. But if I want it to come to the to indicator window one here, I just uh, do this. And then I bring it here. If I want also to add, let's say, uh, let's say what? Bollinger bands. I just click on them once. Then I drag them here. You get? I can change the parameters here. But if I don't want to change the parameters, I just click OK. And then you can see that our Bollinger bands are there. If I change the, if I want to change the properties, I just come here, and then uh, I change. If I want to make them thicker, I just change the parameters there. You can see our Bollinger bands are there. Then you may want to to see your indicator list. You press Control I, Control I. You get. You press Control I. Then we can see the indicators that we've added. First of all, on the main chart we have one moving average. Then on indicator window one we have these ones so if i want to remove any i just click let's say i click on it once you can see now if i want to remove bollinger bands i click on it once then i come to delete you get if i need to remove the gutter indicator or let's say the moving average i click on it once then i delete if i want to modify it if i want to modify it i click on it twice then i may change let's say uh, the thickness eh? let's say the thickness or the numbers here you get so all the colors you get so uh that, that's how that's how we do it then i press ok mm. they change so if i need to change the rsi and add let's say level level 20 level 20 i just add it there and then 
level 20 has been added so that's how you can simply do it so uh, I believe uh, uh, this is uh, this has been helpful because I'm doing this because uh, I have some indicator setups that I've been sharing, but require you to add uh, S, uh, indicators to more to more indicators to a single indicator window, and then I didn't have, I've not always had time to show you how I'm doing it. I quickly I quickly just show you the set the parameters, but now I believe I've catered for all of you. So now I wish you a happy trading. Uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, as I share a lot of things about indicators and everything. <laughs> Just know it's too much. So uh, I appreciate you, your time.